Hello and welcome to the Uncentral 8.1 What's New video. Today I would like to introduce the new feature sets available within Uncentral 8.1 including VMware monitoring, scheduled task enhancements, asset warranty monitoring, and many more. Debatably, one of the most significant new features of Uncentral 8.1 is the vCenter, ESX, and ESXi VMware monitoring. Through leveraging VMware's APIs, the NCentral probe will automatically discover any ESX servers operating within an environment. And using that discovery information, granular ESX monitoring will be set up automatically. Here you can see an ESXi VMware server being monitored for such things as fan status the current licensing status of this ESXi server. Whether or not this device is in any type of maintenance mode, NIC status, moving into physical drive status, power supply status, RAID status, and even server temperature. All of which is giving our partners a very detailed view into the overall physical health of any ESX server. But where we take ESX monitoring even further is by monitoring the status of any attached data store. Monitoring these data stores for total size, amount of free space available, listing all snapshots within this data store, even listing all guests being offered by this ESX server. ESX performance monitoring is captured within the logical drive monitoring service. Here you can see any read or write latencies, whether or not there have been any aborted disk commands, any bus resets, or perhaps kernel latency, and so on. And Central 8.1 truly offers the perfect blend of VMware health and performance monitoring. Enhancements have been made to the scheduled tasks within NCentral 8.1. In regards to scripts de script deployment, NCentral will capture all console displayed data by that script and display that console displayed data within the UI of NCentral. Here we can see the results of issuing the ipconfig slash all command. Now as the console displayed data related to this command was quite large, a zip file is included to display the full results of this command. Another example of this is in regards to the ipconfig slash flush DNS. From the status tab of this we can see not only that this was a successful execution of this command but also confirmation that the DNS cache has been successfully flushed on the remote device. Now the scheduling of these tasks has also been improved within NCentral 8.1. To offer further or advanced flexibility on when tasks will be executed. Now here we can set the tasks to be executed now. We will specify a window of time that this task must be executed before timing out. Now, in the event the device is powered off at this time, we can specify whether this task will be executed when the device comes back online or not. Or perhaps we wish to set the device into a downtime mode during the execution of this task. We can also schedule tasks to be executed once at a later date. Again, we will specify a window of time for the task to be executed before timing out, choosing the date and time of the task execution, choosing our desired behavior in the event the device is powered off or offline at the time of this execution, as well as setting the downtime mode for the device if relevant to the scheduled task. Setting recurring task executions has never been easier within Ncentral 8.1. 
options include setting the task execution interval to hourly or perhaps monthly as an example or even something completely custom where we will specify one or multiple execution times choosing certain days of the week for the script execution or perhaps days of the month including the last day of every month or even months within the year. And Central 8.1 is designed to offer the most flexibility as well as insight when deploying any types of tasks to remote devices. Asset warranty monitoring is completed automatically within Encentral 8.1 with no user or technician intervention required. By simply having an Encentral 8.1 agent installed on a device, that agent will pull, if available, the serial number of the device and perform a warranty lookup. The warranty expiry report, as seen here, also contains live links to the vendor sites to display further or additional warranty information. Today, warranty monitoring is for HP, Dell, Lenovo, Toshiba, Acer, Apple, and Gateway devices, with that list of vendors expanding in the future. A system warranty monitoring service will also be added to each device for the uses of ongoing warranty monitoring and as well notifications. Additional Encentral 8.1 features also include fully supporting Firefox version 4 and 5, fully supporting Windows Home Server 2011 and Windows SBS Server 2011, as well as marks the release of the Encentral Android app available from the Android market. The last and central enhancement I would like to showcase today is the ability to create filters to target devices with a specific monitoring service in a specific state. An example of this would be to target devices that have a disk monitoring service that is currently within a failed status. It is my opinion that this will certainly help with the delivery of our services as we can use these filters to target the devices that are requiring our remediation steps. This concludes the Encentral 8.1 What's New video and I do hope you have found it informative. Please refer to the, uh, the Enable Partner Center and specifically the software downloads page to review the Encentral 8.1 release notes and known issues before beginning your upgrade. Thank you very much.